baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen take for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, presenting the challenger, Hound Dog. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean super boy, Du Ho. You have seatbelt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. 
All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the camera. Joy gets stoned by that leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just misses with the right. More impressive with yeah. striking. Three minutes to go in the round. Come on, don't stand still. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and even Ari rolled right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop you it. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this? Joy gets hit by that kick to the body. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch, land. Straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. There. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. One shot for the end of round one. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All 
right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round, a very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. That was a nice strike. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Leg kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like a basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus in his zone. And they separate. with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nice strike. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Big hook. Kick checked by Short. Left of right hand. Oh, big left. Nice loop and punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, oh my gosh. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, nice. Oh, man, that was slick. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Choi's back inside control here. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's defeated. And now this guy's trying to find the right time to land the fight that is the fight. Back to the feet now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, big punch land. And they separate. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Watch the strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. He's got this turtle in that kick. Honing in on those counters. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, and so able to fight from both fighting stances. Just out of range with that strike. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good punch lands. Joy's head kick is blocked. No damage there. I'm loaded up on that right hand, too. Beautiful hook. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Break him down with a low kick. Misses again with a right punch. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Punch over the top. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. And they separate. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keep it. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the corner button going low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job of hiding a head kick. Just over three minutes to go. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to... There, DC, that's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. All right, he engages in a single college tie here. Oh, oh nice. wow, you don't see that every Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh, wow, oh! Control, control. Don't let him control. And he's out. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. You need to get out of there. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not hitting bad. He's not touching. Every Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh! And he's out. 
All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, close guard now. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, nice, nice right hand. 10 seconds to go in the round. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punches black. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That one appeared to stun him. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Nice high kick. Whiffs on that offering. Chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good stick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he got it bad! Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He's, he's limping now. Beautiful kick. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nice head kick. Another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. 
a full-on display of all of his skill. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes in 